YouTube, Disky for Disky Grills back with another cooking video. And today we are making smoked Cornish hens stuffed with dirty rice on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. So let me show you some of the ingredients we'll be using today for this cook. We'll be using thyme, basil, dill. I have four cloves of garlic that we will smash up and use, jalapeno pepper, and then we'll mix all of these up with olive oil and make a herbal paste. Now that paste will go on the inside of the hens as well as on the outside. From there, we'll put that in the refrigerator and let that sit for about an hour, hour and a half. And in the meantime, we'll start making our dirty rice. So this is just a packaged dirty rice by a Louisiana brand that we'll make and then this would be stuffed dead into the hens before we put them on the grill. So you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna take you down to the cutting board, show you step by step how to do this process. From there, we'll head out to the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill, get these beautiful stuffed Cornish hens on the grill. I wanna thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, YouTube, let's cut some herbs. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting off just cutting up our garlic. So I'm smashing it and cutting it in smaller pieces. Now what we're gonna do is just dice up all the remaining of the herbs and then we will make the paste. The paste will be no more than olive oil mixed with all of these uh, different herbs that we're cutting up. So I'll let you guys see that process. We'll listen to a few tunes and then when we come back, uh, we'll go on to the next step. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Let's season the hens. We'll be using the Honey Killer Bee by Cosmos Q. And, the, and uh, what I plan on doing is hitting it with olive oil real heavily. And we're just going to season well with this Honey Killer Bee, as well as our herbal mix that we just put together. So we'll stuff the inside of the corners hens with the herbal paste. We will also apply more to the outside of the hen. Now, after we get everything stuffed, we will coat it one more time on top with the Cosmos Q to make sure anything that came off uh, gets added back on. Uh, and then next step after that will be trussing the uh, hens and getting them ready for the grill. So that's the process and I'll let you guys check that out.
Okay, YouTube, we are back. It is time to stuff our beautiful hen. We have our dirty rice done. So we will begin stuffing these beautiful hens with the dirty rice. And all I'm doing is just putting it right inside the cavity. And we wanna fill this thing up, so I'll raise it up. We'll get them stuffed really good with the dirty rice. These are going to be great. So there you are. Nice and stuffed. Okay, and we'll go to our other one. Move this baby over. And we'll do the same thing here. Open her up. Now remember, we have our herbs and everything on the inside as well. So as a part of the internal cook and the built-in flavors so not only is this rice happening but we have our herbs that are going to cook down inside and um, this is going to be just amazing when it's finished so what i'm doing is about two um, hefty spoons of rice uh, of well of the dirty rice inside there we go and i've been pushing and i'm working it in is what i'm trying to do so i want it to be in there really well well, just push that on in there. This is it. Okay, so they're both nice and stuffed. And now we'll go ahead and prepare them and wrap them up so they can be tied uh, to make sure these, these things stay in place. Okay, YouTube, it is time to trust the hands. Now, in this case here, we will not do like a full type truss where you tie it all around the back side and everything. As you can see, all I'm doing is focusing on tying up the legs because if I get those tied, that will hold everything true to form while we're cooking on the grill. Now, the plan is to cook for about an hour, hour and a half. This will just keep everything in place. Uh, I'm doing the same thing to the other Cornish hen. And then afterwards, we will just cut off the uh, excess string and then we will be done with that portion uh, of prepping these Cornish hens. So now we'll go ahead and start cutting. Okay, so what I'll do now is meet you guys outside and we can get cooking with these beautiful Cornish hens. Um, I appreciate you guys for joining me as always. This is gonna be an awesome cook. There's a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys outside. Okay, you two, we have our grill dialed in. Um, I used b, b lump charcoal, the uh, oak uh, flavored lump charcoal for this cook. Now, as you can see, we are right at about 345 degrees. I'm gonna dial it down a little bit more. I wanna be cooking more around the 325 range. So, uh, we'll, we'll start working on that. And to do that, of course, I'll just adjust my damper and bring it down a little bit more. So just choke it off a little bit more. There we go. And that should help us uh, reach that 325 that I'm going for. Let me show you guys how our stuffed Cornish hen is coming along. Absolutely remarkable. That is beautiful. Now this is no more than five minutes into the cook on the grill. So again, I'll show you just how nice it looks. This is gonna be great. All right. We have our rice stuffed inside. We have our seasonings on the outside. We have our herbal mix in the, on the inside as well as the outside. And all of these flavors will just continue to baste and cook inside of this, this uh, Cornish hen. I anticipate about an hour, no more than an hour and a half, and this will be done. So what we'll do is we'll check back in about 30 to 45 minutes, and then, uh, but better yet, we'll probably check back in about an hour and start gauging our internal temperatures. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for hanging out with me. You can see it is going well. The Weber Summit Charcoal Grill is an amazing grill. I love it. And uh, this is what we're doing today. So this is a Tuesday, and um, we are Weber Summit cooking today. Catch up with you guys later. Okay, YouTube, we are holding right at 325. We are about 35 minutes into this cook, and I wanted to show you how our Cornish hens are coming along. Let's check it out. They are browning up nicely, as you can see. 
Oh, these things are gonna be delicious. If you could just smell this. When I opened the lid, it was just nothing but wonderful, wonderful aroma from the herbs. You can smell the seasonings. Um, let's see how the dirty rice is doing. Oh, this stuff is cooking up really, really well. Very good. Okay, I am very, very excited about how this is coming. I'll show you the other side real quick. As you can see, we are browning up nicely again. Everything is coming along. Our wings are, as usual, they get done quicker. I could foil them, but I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Uh, we'll check back again in about 20 more minutes and go ahead and start probing and seeing where we're at with our internal temperatures. Hey, thanks for hanging in there with me. This cook is going well. I will check back with you guys in about 20 minutes. Okay, YouTube, we are back. It is now about an hour and 20 minutes into this cook. Let's see how our Cornish hens are doing. Now that is what you want. Look at that beautiful even tone. These babies are cooked to perfection. Love it. What I'm planning on doing now is checking our internal temps, so we can do that real quick while I got you on here. Now remember, we are shooting for 175 in the dark meat. We are there. A little over, it won't hurt at all. We'll check the other one. Oh, beautiful. These corner chins are done. I'll go into the thigh real quick and the uh, breast meat, we'll see how that is. Yeah, they're done. All right, what we're gonna do now is take it inside to the cutting board and show you the final product. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll see you at the cutting board. Okay, YouTube, here is our final result of our beautiful smoked Cornish hens stuffed with dirty rice. As you can see, we have beautiful color. Awesome juices are about to come out of this baby. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut one of these open for you while you're watching and let you see our finished product. Again, if you like what we're doing at D-Ski Grills, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, at D-Ski Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. This is going to be some great Cornish hands. Take care, YouTube. Thanks for joining me.